Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Blizzard recently announced an upcoming balance patch was aimed at mages. So figured I would do my top six things I want to see from mages in the next patch. Number one, Arcane. For those who have followed my channel, All of Sod, you will know I'm a big Arcane enthusiast. I rated all of Phase 1 and Phase 2 as Arcane. It's my favorite spec. I have rated Phase 3 as Arcane, and, well, the numbers are just really bad. Obviously, number one for me is Arcane DPS getting some love. One of the biggest standouts to me is Arcane Blast. In Season of Discovery, Arcane Blast doesn't buff itself. When you are at max stacks of Arcane Blast, there is really no reason to sit here. You might as well just use Arcane Missiles and reset. I think a good starting point for a buff to Arcane would be the stacks increasing your blast damage. That way there is an interesting dance of knowing how much mana you should dump into max stacks of Arcane Blast. Either way though, Arcane as a DPS spec needs some love. Number 2. I am obviously biased here, but a large amount of my enjoyment of Season of Discovery has been soloing as much content as possible. Doing as many crazy things whether it's soloing bosses in BFD at level 25, or solo clearing an entire dungeon. With Phase 3, Blizzard added an anti-boosting mechanic to all of the higher level dungeons. After 60 seconds in combat, elites become immune to crowd control. After 3 minutes, they move 300% faster. This has essentially killed a lot of our fun dungeon farms from the past. We can no longer do the 300 mob Mara pull, or really any solid BRD pulls. It's really fun doing these massive pulls and seeing how crazy things can get in Season of Discovery. It was a large amount of my enjoyment from Phase 1 and Phase 2, and this phase definitely feels less fun because of it. Please remove this mechanic. Number 3, Living Flame. When you guys nerfed Living Flame, it took a pretty massive hit. I understand the need for the nerfs, but I do think they were a little over the top. The duration change from 20 seconds to 10 seconds was probably needed. The move speed change was also probably needed. However, the combination of the two of these has completely neutered the spell. It's dead in raids, and in dungeon farming it has limited value depending on the farm. A massive quality of life change would be making Living Flame spawn under the target it was cast on. Because of the current state of Living Flame, you can end up losing 60-70% to 70 of its duration just to get to the target. If it spawned under the target, that would be a huge change. Number 4. One of the big complaints for most people this phase is gear. Specifically caster gear is a standout. I understand Blizzard put themselves in a tough spot by making BFD loot so insane, but the loot this phase is pretty bad. Here are a few extreme examples. This mace from Sunken Temple is basically worse than this BFD dagger. For the STV event, here are the stat differences between the level 40 and level 50 rings. Most mages I know haven't even bothered upgrading their rings, because why? I know other casters feel this way, but outside of things like the Hakar Trinket and Blade of Eternal Darkness, nothing from this phase stands out at all. Number 5. Percent Based Food I don't think I need to go on a massive rant explaining this one. Everyone in the game wants percent based food. Everyone. Number 6. In theme, I really like the Mage Scrolls. When I first interacted with this system, I thought it was cool. At this point though, it's tedious and painful. I hate interacting with this system and most of the time I don't even bother. 1. Why don't the scrolls stack? 2. Why do I need to buy this reagent to open each individual scroll? I've spent well over 100 gold on charms at this point. Don't worry though guys, we got an offhand that gives me 4 charms on a 4 hour cooldown. Third, why do I have to open them one by one? I was trying to get 2 crit scrolls on stream the other day and I had to open over 65 of them. It's just so painful and tedious. Please add some quality of life love to this system. Bonus, this really isn't balance patch related, but Blizzard if we can have invisibility as a rune next phase, I would love that. Okay, that's my list. Let me know down below in the comments what changes you would like to see Blizzard make towards our class. I appreciate Agron and the Sod devs for addressing the classes. Fingers crossed mages are getting some love though. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one, boys.